All right, I'm kicking. And hi, right. everybody. We are live. I'm Rex Sykes, and you see to my other side is Ava Manuel and Parisa Rose. Right down there below me on that other side is Joe Ingram and Jim Miller, and we're here live to talk about this upcoming event, this fabulous once-in-a-lifetime global event, LA Leadership Week, uh, that the Los Angeles Tribune and these fine people are helping put on. So um, who wants to speak first about this? Uh, it begins May 1st through the 7th, so who wants to give a little bit of a, a, a talk about what they think the uh, watchers, the viewers, the people attending, can how they can benefit. I think because a lot of times we talk about what we're doing, but what's the takeaway? What's the benefits that people can derive from from being here at this event? I think is most important because people are, you know, what's in it for me? So what's in it for our audience? Well, let me get started with that, Rex. My name is Ava Manuel. I'm the editor in chief of the Los Angeles Tribune, and oh my gosh, um, I am honored to have the people that I looked up to, that I, you know, really were my mentors from a distance, you know, from their books, their teachings, their cassette tapes. Yes, I still was a product of cassette tapes um, and <laughs> in their videos, um, watching their motivational speeches. And now we get and being in their trainings, you know, like thousands of dollars in trainings, traveling and all that following. And now we get to bring them all together on a free public service. Um, program at the Los Angeles Tribune celebrating leadership and what an honor so I'm very very excited you know we've got the likes of Brian Tracy Sharon Lecter Joe Vitale um, Ty Lopez oh my gosh um, Dr. Robert Cialdini a lot more and it's just getting bigger you know our most recent ones is um, a heavyweight um, champion in boxing Larry Holmes who's going to be joining us so I am just excited delighted so in terms of benefit on what this could bring to you answering Rex's question, you'll have the wisdom of people's um, masterpiece living their whole life handed to you on a platter in these seven days. So stay tuned. Thank you, Ava. And who wants to go next? Don't know. Uh, I, just, I just want to say that uh, it's uh, it's a pleasure to be here. And we, uh, another heavyweight that we're bringing in, Jay Abraham, right? right. Uh, that's coming in and uh, probably more to come. It's, you know, as far as I've seen, I've been in this industry for gosh, over 25 years or more, and I have never seen a lineup like this. And this attests to the drawing power of the Los Angeles Tribune, its reputation and the community that we're forming, right? I mean, it's just forming this extraordinary uh, acceleration and traction uh, of people that are that are coming in and want to join in. And I, I believe that the common the common denominator to all this, Rex, and what the takeaway is, is we've encouraged everyone to speak into leadership at a level of relatability, right? Because it, it, nobody started out where they are right now and you look at uh, many of these people and it, you could be starstruck but the truth is is that many of these people came from extremely ordinary and even subordinary uh beginnings uh and have created a path or have followed another leader in their path to leadership so for the next generation for our children for our grandchildren what I believe we're creating here is a legacy piece, right? Where, where we truly, truly encourage because the world is in such need of leaders, true leaders, right? So anyway, so this is my take on it. I love it. I love it. You know, I, I, I want to piggyback on that before I ask Parisa or Joe to chime in, but that is that, you know, many of these people started ordinary. They came and, 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 and got to the top of the, the, their field and yet they remain ordinary. That to me is the most wonderful of all things. They aren't impressed by themselves or with their accomplishments, but they're impressed with the ability to help other people and watch other people or help other people step up to claim their own greatness. You know, Very those people who are able to remain humble, no matter what they accomplish is truly, truly wonderful. And that, and not, not everybody's like that, but those who are definitely stand head and shoulders above the rest. And we're happy to have those who are. So. Joe will go. There you go. 
So um, here's one of the things that I think is amazing. The better the leader you are, the more leaders result from your leadership, right? It's, it's the copy paste kind of mentality where if you're a great leader, it comes through. So even though we're looking at a 2024 delivery for seven days, we still have people from previous generations that are still leading us, still providing us with something that is of value and still relevant today, right? right. So for people that are sitting out there now, again, how many people are feeling lost? How many people are sitting down and can't lead the household or themselves, much less their businesses, right? Or at their job. And I think that's what we're bringing to everybody is the ability to sit down and go, look, let's talk to people, the experts about adaptability, inclusivity, transparency, ethics, sustainable focus. All of the things that are important in leadership are going to be talked to over seven days with the most amazing people that have demonstrated it, put it into words, we're able to duplicate it in other people and they're coming here to share with you. And I think that's when you look at it, it's like the value that the Tribune is bringing to everybody is, I mean, imagine if you were paying for this. Wow. <laughs> right? It would, it would definitely be that. And we're like, and it's for free because we have the ability to pull these people together. And they recognize that the Tribune has the reach that is going to benefit them. And the goal is what? Everybody's goal here is to say, I want to make it easier and better for another human being. And I think that's the beautiful part about this. Awesome. That is amazing. Thank you. And Parisa. That well, was good. Hello. hello, everyone. You know, one thing that really speaks loudly to, for me as it pertains to this week that's coming up, is that this doesn't, like everyone that's gonna be attending, speaking, hosting, like we're not all in like one sector, one industry. It's across all of the industries. And I think that people are now really actually a little bit more, a bit more receptive to that understanding that leadership isn't just a concept, isn't just for personal development or uh, corporate infrastructure. It's actually across life. And I think that with a lot of the, the complexities that are going around globally and that we're all experiencing in some way, shape or form, it's really rearing its ugly head. It's really showing us that if we don't have that, that inner fortitude, we don't have that understanding and that awareness within ourselves and how we show up in the world, then how are we going to understand how this is displayed elsewhere? And leadership in the home affects leadership everywhere else, all industries, all sectors. So I think that as I've, I've been looking through the list of everyone that's going to be there, I'm like, this is a wild, this is amazing. And it just shows, proves, uh, it gives all of the receipts and the evidence, whatever you want to call it, that the people that are involved also believe this too. That leadership isn't just a concept. It's not isolated. It is actually inter interdependent across everything in all parts of life. So with that, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to glean from all the other people there, even those that are on the screen right now. Like I'm always a student 24 seven and I'm excited to learn. I'm excited to be present and uh, just dive in. Well, that's, well, awesome. You know, they say that leaders are readers and curiosity obviously is what drives people to read or to seek out mentors and, and guidance and coaches and people who can help benefit you. One of the things that I, I would like to add to um, what, what was just said was that, you know, leaders aren't interested in followers. Leaders are interested, as Joe said, in creating other leaders. And one of the things that I can promise the people who are watching right now or in replay is the four people around me is that kind of person. Ava and Parisa and Joe and Jim are all the kind of people who are dedicated to helping other people help them rise higher. You know, that saying, you know, when the tide rises, it floats the boat and everyone in it. Well, that's the point of being a leader is to help other people surpass you. If they only get to where you are. Years ago, Mark Ricker Hansen and I were having a conversation. He said, you know, I've sold a half a billion books, more books than any person in the world, but don't let me be your ceiling. Let me be your floor. Surpass me. And I was like, oh, you know, 
you know, how cool to hear that. And so, and that is, and that's genuinely how he expects people to do is don't let me be the last thing that happens. Let me be the first of many, uh, you know, banister in the five, four minute mile and things like that. And each of the people on the platform right now, and those coming to benefit, you will give you principles and practices and methods and tips and suggestions and ideas to help transform your life. And if you just take one idea, and make a powerful decision with it, you can transform your life, your business, and, and everything about your circumstances. So this is no small thing. This is the free event with, with people like this. So Jim, what were you going to say? I was going to say um, that one of, the, uh, one of the unique aspects about this is that people who are viewing this will have an opportunity to be involved with their questions and getting answers and speaking directly to you know, through the chat, through a not just like uh, just like Sandra is right now, uh, you know, presenting their questions. And Joe, you mentioned that it's a free event to all, but I can tell you this: there's probably well over a million dollars worth of time and uh, and content that's being delivered uh, by the combination of all the experts that are coming on. So it's a it, it is a gift to uh, everyone is gifting their time, gifting their content. And, uh, and, 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 and that value is something in this type of collaboration in this collection is something that's priceless, I, I, I believe. Well, I, I appreciate that. And, you know, uh, Sandra Horton is a speaker at the event. And Bill Janicek is one and Julianne is one. They're in the chat room right now. So, I mean, there are people who aren't on this platform right now who are taking their time and the energy and the effort to participate with us now and, and to support the effort because that's the kind of people they are. And that's very cool. And, they, and uh, certainly if they have a link they're they're invited to come and join us right now. And, and, you know, I wanted to just add, as a matter of fact, you know, our CEO is on the chat, Mo Rock, um, who's celebrating his birthday weekend. Um, and he's just commenting that the interactive component and the live networking event makes this a truly unique two-way experience. That's really beautiful. Like a lot of people, we haven't really said that out very, very loudly, that we are doing a post-event networking for everyone who registers. So it's not just a... Um, it's not just a live streaming, it is a community coming together. So you definitely want to be part of the community. The one thing that I love about the principle and the, the core value that we have in the Los Angeles Tribune is community building and supporting each other. You know, as we have some of the biggest names um, in the personal development industry coming and also being honored, um, our invitation was to honor, you know, the leadership excellence. We also are bringing in with us a lot of up and coming leaders who are also leaders in their own rights, you know, crushing it in their own industries and also have a lot of powerful things to say from their own experience, from their own, you know, um, repertoire. So I, I am really, really um, delighted that we're we're bringing this community together on a live stream. You know, we've got Donna also, um, who is one of our event hosts, you know, on the chat. So, you know, share the link. You know, tell your friends, I would say, um, come on over because even as we are in these discussions, it's definitely a co-creation. It's not one of those webinars where you watch and you sit back or you just listen. You're part of the conversation in here. And that's what's beautiful about this is why we keep um, this platform is because we wanted to have the conversation with our audience. We wanted to hear your interactions. We want to hear what landed for you because we all, you know, sometimes we don't, we, we missed something and then someone writes it in the chat and it just lands a little deeper. So i uh, really excited for that seven days. Might become eight or nine. <laughs> well, well, let's stop and think. How much money have you made and how much better off are you from Shark Week, right? No, you're so busy watching Sharks Attack and you're all excited for that one to, to spice up. The Leadership Week, this is the one that's going to make a dent in your pocketbook for the rest of your life. This is the one that will push you forward to, to achieve that next level. I don't care if you're at 21 and you want to be at level 22. That Again, this is how you're going to get there. I forgot about Shark Week, Joe. <laughs> That's I how just, my kids uh, from trauma know, was, and fear and getting and the water. Donna said that leadership week is one of my favorites, and I'm like, yeah, better than Shark Week. That's the only thing that came to my head. So, 
Well, um, so, Rex, we give it this. We give the mic back to you as our host and organizer yeah, of this. I, I'm listening, but I'm also trying to invite some of the some of our friends and some of the people who are speakers, and um, having a little bit of difficulty doing that. So I apologize for not looking like I'm looking at you, but I am hearing everything as I share this link to some of the people who can continue to contribute to to the conversation that we're having. You, you, you know, uh, Rex, one of the things I wanted to point out too, and uh, you know, Ava and and Mo and I get to uh, get to to speak a, about this uh, rather intimately and on a on a regular basis. But this really is the launch of something that's going to be quite extraordinary. There are so many things, so many surprises that are coming up from the Los Angeles Tribune because Mo is so dedicated to leadership, so dedicated to personal development, a student of it himself. Uh, and uh, and what we have what we have coming up in the future is only going to piggyback on what we're doing right here. So it really is it really is, a, 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 a somewhat of a, a landmark event where we're where we're launching right Ava and you want to speak into that well definitely you know um as Mo says you know we're this is a movement it's not yes. it's not a one time and once every year but we're creating a movement you know where we uh, make leadership important you know where we see the value of growing our leadership to be able to move our lives forward you know one of the very interesting things that i i'm looking at recently is that you know the number of millionaires are growing in a fast speed 1700 you know individuals turn millionaires a day from you know the statistics from um, 2010 to 2023 and um and and poverty is significantly decreasing and 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 i believe it's because of the rights of um consciousness you know rise of consciousness for people to know and understand that they don't have to die where they where, where they were where they were born right they don't have to stay the same way you know? You know, I made a post this today on, you know, having the freedom to choose different, to be different. Like we have that, we have that ability and, and that's all plays into leadership. So I'm, I'm very excited that we're, we're raising that level of awareness in this, in this LA Leadership Week. It's been exciting over the years that I've known Mo Rock to watch how things, you know, it, it, you know, it's like Napoleon Hill, you know, an idea gets transmuted into reality. And just like a seed, sometimes you plant it a long time ago and it takes water and trust and faith that it's going to happen, but you nurture that seed and then ultimately you're able to reap the harvest. And what people are beginning to see is that those seeds that were planted a while ago are starting to come to fruition and new seeds are being planted now. So we don't just have a garden, we've got a forest growing. And from a forest, you know, some people have limited vision. They see trees and you say, well, what else might you see? And they go, well, I see a table or a chair, or I see, you know, somebody built a house, and another person, as Bill Gates said, it's called depth of vision. They say, I see a, a, I see a city, and another person says, well, I see a, a country. Another person says, I see the world. You know, so it just depends on how big your vision is and how far you want to go with it, because you can stay with, uh, hey, I've, I've got some toothpicks from the wood that I planted, or I've got a, a, a global community, and and what we are doing is reaching around the world and creating. Uh, we're not creating the global community, but we're uniting a global community. You know, Rex, out here in California, we see a forest and we see a forest fire, right? And so this thing is uh, really ignited. Trust me, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a blaze uh, in, 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 in the, the presentation. And, and like Abba said, it's still growing. I mean, truly, people are already commenting on the fact that they've just never witnessed before a collection of so many thought leaders, uh, so many uh, personalities, uh, gurus, you, you name it, right? Uh, speaking about you, Rex, uh, you name it. Uh, there's, uh, there's, there's something for everyone as well, for, for minorities, for women, for uh, the aged like you and me, Rex, for, uh, for the youth. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't include Joe on that one. No, Joe's too cool. He's got that cool blazer on. So, and, and cool. as old as he is, he looks so young. I mean, it's really amazing. He does. So, so it's uh, it's something for everyone. And and I encourage, you know, especially if you are a speaker or you are a panelist or panel leader in this event, be sure to promote this event, please. Put it, get, send it, uh, send it to your email list post it on uh, because the the event itself is going to be on 
on every platform on social media. Am I correct, Abba? Yes, absolutely. It's, it's going to be in all social media platforms plus Roku On Demand. So really excited. Parisa is back. Do you know also, oh, and Sandra Horton is joining us. I don't know if you know Sandra, but if you don't know Sandra, you must. And when she's speaking, she you must make a comment. Listen. She used to comment, Sandra, right? That was her earlier? Yeah. Hi, Joe. I recognize your beautiful face. How's everybody? Bring some energy in from uh, BC and Canada. So thank, thanks, Rex. Hi, I know, Abba. I know you have a limited amount of time. Abba, I, did, I just stepped on what you were saying, so I apologize. Oh, you're perfect. I'm, I, I was complete, and I'm happy to see Sandra. This is my happy dance. <laughs> <laughs> bring in the energy. Bring in the energy. <laughs> Sandra is one of those so parts. Sandra, because you're here, I was going to say, Rex, because Sandra's here, what say, what say you? No, what say what me? Saying. What say me? You know what? I think the power is everyone has a voice. And I absolutely love this lineup is epic. And we say that a lot, but genuinely, this is epic. You have heart-led leaders, people who've been doing amazing things in leadership. There's up-and-coming leaders that are going to share their from their perspective and what and what Rex was saying earlier too. When I was listening, uh, you know, on the other side, it it really takes consistent right action. And one of the things that I love when I see what Av has been doing and Rex and Parissa and Joe and Jim and all the other beautiful people, we're action takers. So for those viewers, those listeners who perhaps maybe are sitting back going, gee, I really want to take action. This is the place to come to because you're going to get so inspired. You're going to learn so much and it's just going to ignite your heart and it's going to accelerate, activate you to success. So I'm, I'm totally stoked. I'm so honored to be able to, you know, pop on in and be a part of the uh, Moral Compass panel. So that's an honor, big honor. You know, you know, Sandra. One of the things that 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 you mentioned that's really, really uh, uh, provoked a thought, and that is too, is that the leaders uh, in this uh, in this discussion are also going to speak about their failures, right? Mm -hmm. Because the the path to leadership is not easy, right? Yes. And uh, and however, what you're going to hear is how people failed forward and failed their way to success, because that's mm -hmm. really what it is. Failing your way to success, right? The trial and error, the 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 hurdles that we face, the 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 times where we question ourselves, what am I doing? And uh, and we get back up and act, or we reach out to someone who is a leader in our life, whether it be a parent, or whether it be a friend, or whether it be somebody like the panelists that we're going to have right now. So you know, again, the relatability of leadership is what we, we were unified in speaking about. Absolutely. And I agree. And you know what the funny part is? Because <laughs> I just jumped on this. I have a green jacket on. <laughs> no, you see. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to change to my blue jacket. You're right? So Sandra brought that in. So we can all tie it back together. Yes. That I is, know. is she in the closet? Because she just grabbed the jacket so quick. I know. <laughs> no, this is actually my little office. See? No, she's like, come out the closet. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, this is live and this is the beauty of it. You got to just be raw and real. And so I'm like, I was in another meeting and I had the green jacket on. And I thought, and this is the beauty about the leaders that you bring in here. It's just show up, just show up who you are, how you are. And um, yeah, it's always learning. Thanks, Mo. <laughs> it, it, it made Mo laugh and Darlene. So that is so awesome. Well, you know, I actually just loaded up a picture of our lineup. Look at that. Um, so let me get our banner off so that we can see the names. Um, what a powerful lineup. And it's just growing. We actually, did we, do we have um, Larry Holmes in here yet? No, nope, we don't have Larry Holmes in here yet. And also, in addition to this, we also had uh, Brad Lea. So um, it's, it keeps on growing. And we've got more people asking if they, you know, they can invite more people to join, you know. Um, it's, it's very, very exciting. And here's one thing that comes to mind as we're talking about this. I, you know, for people out there, you know, um, experts, authors, speakers, um, this is not an exclusive club. 
you know, the, the Los Angeles tribute is about really bringing people together, bringing community, putting spotlights on people. You know, it's funny, um, our, our, the Mo Rock show, our CEO Mo Rock, the most common thing that people complain about about the show is where's Mo? <laughs> it's the Mo Rock show without Mo because he would he would get co-hosts and put co-hosts and people in the spotlight and then he would like go in the background. But that's really that's really the the culture of the Los Angeles Tribune is we put we, we put spotlights on people. So um, if you're out there watching this, authors, speakers, experts, and thinking like I should be a part of that, like there's a conviction in your heart that you should be a part of it, I would say email community at LA Tribune online.com you know we are we are we have a lot of leadership panels that um much as we're right now running till 7 p.m and i said chances are we're gonna have a day eight or a day nine um we just don't want to miss the opportunity to get to know people who are sitting in the sidelines thinking they might not be part of it or they might not belong i wanted to let you know that it's for everybody you know so if you feel like you deserve to be here and you you've you you've got you're doing amazing things writing a book speaking in stages and you're just not in the la tribune community it's not exclusive with we want you and we want you to be a part of it you know and i would also add because you know there's always an elephant in a room and that is somebody goes oh i don't like that speaker or, i don't like their book or i didn't like what they did that, don't you know that. what I've lost weight. I've lost. Weight. <laughs> and yeah. you know what? It, it's like there's something for everyone. And if you don't like a particular speaker, don't let that prevent you from benefiting from all the other speakers who are there, who you might like, or who you or who you could like if you gave them a chance. So I apologize. The dogs are going crazy. Who let the dogs out. They, 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 they love it. They're singing to it. I want to add something else, however. You know, when in in. In a relay race, there's somebody who has a, a baton, and when they get close to you know a certain area, they pass the baton, and the other person wins. The person who crosses the finish line isn't the only winner. It's, it's everybody who was in that race that passed the baton. We win when you pass the baton, and when you share, you and I and all of us become winners because we reach more people than we could ever reach by ourselves. So through cooperation and collaboration, this isn't about competition. This is about collaboration and cooperation to make something happen so that you can not only reach your family and your friends and strangers, but we can too. So share this out and be sure that you're there. It's absolutely free. You should register so you have access to the free replays and to the benefits of, of the goodies that you can get, but also just to interact and to be part of something this epic and this wonderful and 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 this amazing. So with that my dogs are supporting everything that we're doing and saying because they're in it just as much as we are. They're like, yes. So good. And and you know, Russ talking about um talking about being a part of it. You just say, you know, you're all in the part of it. I just wanted to like, you know, bring some comments in the in the chat, you know. Uh, Joe, there's some words from Bill for you. Good <laughs> quit barking, Joe. <laughs> I can I can take it. I can handle Joe. He's a good guy. His head is just bigger than everybody else's, but he's a good guy. <laughs> but you know, but also, you know, Justin says we need to re let Rex dogs out. Um, so I I just yeah. wanted to say, you know, you're you're all part of creating, you know, creating the experience. You know, our, we love our virtual audience. We love this technology because it used to be that, that people just sit in the back, right, like way back, and you pay thousands of dollars, and you're like seeing people in stages this small, and then you don't even see their faces. Now we we don't see everybody, but we hear what they have in mind, and some people just speak too much. <laughs> <laughs> and and it's all good. It's all fun. We're all a sport, you know. So good. That was another attack on me. <laughs> elephant in the room, and he talks too much. Great. Everybody else <laughs> want to take a shot while we're here. But let, understand, everyone, what we got. What what is available to you at laleadershipweek.com? Right. Go in and register so that you know everything that's happening as it goes through, because this is going to be the fire hose, right? The leadership fire hose coming at you. And you need to find what works best with your schedule, what you can go into. You'll get notified of the replays if we have your uh, an ability to contact you. And one of the most important things that Ava was saying was like, if you have that calling, right, it's not about the person delivering the, the message. It's about the message. And that's what Los Angeles Tribune does. 
puts everybody into a spotlight to convey a message that needs to be heard because it's about transformation. It's about us saying, how do we evolve and get better? That's what, that's what we want to do. And again, we've had some trying times over the last couple of years. And so how do you elevate? How do you go get better? Well, it starts with internal leadership, starts with your family leadership, starts with who you are, where you're at, and whoever's wearing your shoes right now. That so is beautiful. That. that is beautiful. You know, you know, Joe, uh, you and you and Rex both uh, used uh, the analogy of of a race, and you just mentioned about starting. And and I often say that the most important line to cross in a race is the starting line, and this is what this is what's going to hopefully ignite a new generation of leaders that are that are, again are are wanting to be wanting to be relevant in this world wanting to bring uh, value to this world but they may not have some some path that's directly visible for them and this could be the catalyst for that jim i want to thank you for that because i've been i've been kind of like eager to share this you know, none of us knew each other a while ago, and yet we've all met, whether in person or online. And as a or result, in Clubhouse. or wherever it was, but yeah, it's on Clubhouse. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, it's online. Right. You're right. You're right. But what I'm saying is, is that, is that the opportunity exists for those who are watching this or who participate now to be sharing the platform with people like us or other people who aren't even here right now. You never, you ne the world is a small place, and the and. It, again, that saying, it's not who you know, but who knows you. And it's about connection. It's about harmony. It's about cooperation and unity. Um, so don't miss this event. Join the event because you might be with us in the next event. Who knows? But also, also one last thing I want to say, and I want to pass the mic. Uh, and I know Sandra has a, a limited amount of time, too. But, you know, it, we're talking about a race. There are people who put hurdles along the racetrack to jump over. Our hardship, our problem, our obstacles to them are part of the process, and they enjoy hurdling these these obstacles in order to get to the finish line. But as as Jim pointed out, if you don't start, you ain't going to cross the finish line. And and if but I can, can uh, yeah, if I can jump in, Rex, you know, I think it's really critical what Jim uh, was saying. It's yeah. it'll imagine yourself. Like we all started in January, didn't we? We were like, okay, we got this. We're going to go forward. We got all these goals. We got all these plans. And hey, we're heading into May. Where are you? Like, where are you in your personal journey? Where are you in your business journey? This is the absolute best time to level set, to reset, to re-engage yourself, get motivated, get clear, get on your purpose. So I'm echoing everything that everyone's saying here, but also championing those who are going to listen to this. If this applies to you and you can see yourself in this place, come on board. Join, listen, write down, like commit to new action so that you don't end up in September looking back and going, wow, where did my year go? So I think this is the absolute best time to jump on in and just take it all in and then apply it. And that's where I'm, I just wanted to echo that, Jim. I thought it was great. Thanks. Well, we, we all know that May is a magical month. Uh, mm -hmm. May 4th is my birthday. I have my leadership panel at three o'clock Pacific time. Be sure to join. Uh, and uh, birthday wishes will be accepted in the form of gift cards and uh, uh, gold bullion. So thank you very much for that. Well, that's great. We're going to close this out in just a little bit. So why don't we go around and make a, a, just some final comments about uh, the program that's coming up May 1st through the 7th, the LA Leadership Week, so that everybody has an opportunity to uh, attend. You want to go to the laleadershipweek.com and register today. So, um, Jim, you were just saying, why don't we, why don't we uh, allow you to have a, a final word? We'll go to Joe and Sandra and Paris and Ava. Well, I, I, again, there is a, there is so much excitement that's uh, that's around this event. You, you know, you don't want to have FOMO. You know, fear of missing out on this. You you, you must show up. You must uh, in in your life. Uh, you you cannot find these type of opportunities on a regular basis this is a this is a a, a diamond that you uh, that you stumbled across 
if you are going to either participate uh, or or be involved in the program. It's just, you know, Mo Rock has done an extraordinary job in positioning uh, all of us in a place where we have a platform. And uh, and so anyway, I invite everyone. It's going to be a great time. Absolutely. Thank you. Go ahead, Joe. And the only part that's painful, Jim, is the mailing of the gold bullion. So I may just have to drop it off because the shipping whoop, costs almost as much as the rest. So all I'm saying to everyone, I just I can't reiterate it enough, is that you owe it to yourself, first and foremost, to spend some time learning from there's I mean, what is there? 30 plus people, and we're gonna end up going into seven day seven, day eight day nine as you go through we we're running out of time based on the amount of leadership excellence that is coming forth during this week so you owe it to yourself get on the list watch the shows connect with who you connect with because the biggest part of this is make some comments make the the questions known to the guest who's actually talking they're spending time to create impact okay the goal of the Los Angeles Tribune is, you know, let's create impact without a slant, right? We, we, we don't care which side, whatever, of anything. The answer is let's put it out there and let's create an impact. And I want you guys to get the most from it as you can. So the choice is up to you, right? If, the, if we're bringing the mountain, so get yourself in front of it. Awesome. Well, thank you. I, I want to bring up a friend, Justin Benton. We're going to bring him up. He's got a, uh, just a couple of moments to share something of importance that will uh, contribute to this event. Thank you, Justin, for oh, being there he here. Is. I was just trying to get a hold of him. Hey, can you guys hear me okay? We do. We do. Nice. Well, thank you, Joe, for inviting me. The goatee is looking sharp as ever. Like very uh, Confucius, say. Very yes. Nice. Very nice. Yes. He who stands so, on uh, toilet is high on pot. There's my <laughs> lesson for the day. Okay. Just super excited to pop in and, and say hi. Yeah. And, you know, what an event we have coming up for Leadership Week. Is there a link somewhere down below that they can sign up? Or yep. how do people join? Somewhere down there below. Leadershipweek.com. Yep. It, it, uh, oh, I don't know if they're scrolling. It, there it is right there. I mean, the speaker lineup is a little cray-cray, as the kids say. Uh, Mo may have outdone himself, I believe. If you look right there, he totally we got Ty did. Lopez, he totally did. My boy Russell, Sharon Lecter, uh, Les Brown, Brian Tracy, Jay Abraham. I mean, come on, folks. Like, who else do you want? I mean, you got Joe Ingram, Rex. Si uh, is it Siles or Sykes, Rex? That's our inside joke. No, but but I'm <laughs> I'm just so excited. There is. And I hear there might be some awards being passed out, and maybe I don't know. There might be some really, really big surprises. So, I, who are we missing? Is there someone we're missing? I don't think so. I think we've got every no, single person I, I just that is an influencer. And, and, and we were saying today. that we met we're in the golden. days of Clubhouse, and I agree. <laughs> but I also think we met in this world because of COVID in March of 2020, and we all figured out this new world. We used to travel, we used to go to shows, we used to speak on stage. But now we can hang out with our kids on a Sunday afternoon at the pool. And here we are just talking about a life-changing moment. So don't let this moment pass you by. Sign up. It's totally free. I get I disappeared. Oh, someone disappeared. Uh, I don't even know if we're selling anything. I think we're just showing up and over-delivering. So I'm just super stoked and excited. And let's go. All right. Thank you so much. Good to see you, Justin. And and uh, how are the kids doing poolside? Can you see them? They're over there. They're yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Justin, he's, he's he's got are you pools. signed up to be one yeah. of our speakers? Sorry? Are you signed up to be one of our speakers? I, I'll be 101. Sign me up. If you need there a chatty charge, right, right, I know. Right, I'm right, not right, putting right, right, you on our stretch. We, we, better. we okay. added the fabulous Justin Benton. Yay. All right. So we went to get Andrew before she has to leave. I mean, this Happy is what's beautiful it. about this community and this platform, right? You know, like just uh, five minutes ago, 4.46, um, Justin message, invite me on stage. And now he's on stage and he's going to be one of the speakers. That's how you become part of the community, you know? So love you, Justin. Thank you. 
Absolutely. Absolutely. Sandra. Oh, thanks everybody. And Justin, I'm loving how the balance is going. You're talking, you're sharing, your kids are enjoying life. Thank you for being an awesome, inspirational guy. I love that. Thank you so much for showing up and I love the energy. So just, I want to share with everyone listening, or if you're listening on this on replay, know that you deserve it. Know that you deserve to grow. Know that you can be anything and all things that you truly desire. All it takes is making a choice today. A choice to sign up, to come on in, and to grow. Get uncomfortable. Stretch. And as a change enabler, I will champion you that the more uncomfortable you get, the better, the more growth and expansion you're going to have. Why settle for mediocrity? Why settle for just the status quo? So let's get going, let's get together, let's learn, and let's activate success. Because don't we all want to have success in however you define it? And for me, I am so happy being here. I love to be able to encourage and inspire people. Thank you, Ava. Thank you, Rex, my beautiful mentor. Parissa, I love you. You're just an amazing soul. Thank you, Joe, Justin, awesome. And I hope we'll continue to grow and connect. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. So, uh, Parissa, what say you now? All right, final words here is that, you know, we're only a few reps away and like so many reps away from where we want to be. And it's actually a lot easier in life to do your reps in the environment that others are doing the same kind of reps. So for me personally, the way I want to grow in integrity and intelligence and follow through and adaptability and all of these things, well, where would I put myself in the place? Who would I be around? It's you all right here. And this is not just like a cool idea or just me spitting out this, this thought. This is, uh, this is practicality. This is real. This was me, exactly me, like eight years ago. I was one that used to hop on things like this. Now, at the time, there weren't anything as, I'd say, polished or sophisticated at the time. So you know, I definitely was gleaning from different things online that um, definitely have absolutely were value enriched. But that's what I did. That's all I needed to do. I just kept diving into different teachers and leaders and mentors and authors that had been doing the work and had value to share. And I learned from them and I just kept learning from them and I kept applying what I was learning. And I just let those continue to be my reps. And was it my, my ultimate ideal or desire or dream to be on the same stage as some of these speakers that we're going to be having this week? No, not necessarily, because I'll be honest with you, I didn't even think that was within uh, my realm. What was within my realm at the time was figure out how to survive, figure out how to experience a better life, you know, tomorrow to be better than today. That was my goal. That was my desire. And by applying the things that I was learning from all of these speakers all those years ago and putting in the reps, I find myself here today on the same stage, speaking with these incredible people. And it's because we're all like-minded. We all continue to put in the reps, the same kind of reps alongside one another. So if you understand that you want to be somewhere, not that where you're at right now may be bad, there's nothing to wrong here. But if you know that where you want to be it doesn't look exactly like where you're at right now, then put in the reps and join us because we're all doing our reps, <laughs> I guarantee you, in, in some way, shape, or form. So join us in those reps because I'll tell you, I promise you, I'm still doing my reps every day. I'm still learning, still growing. It's still messy. It's still messy. That's what I call failure is it's not failure necessarily. I consider it just it's it being a little messy and it's okay to be messy because we're human. And as humans, we get to continue to rep. So Preach girl, according to Bill Janishak. <laughs> Dr. Bill. Go ahead, Mama. Let's uh let's we're gonna wrap it up here. Well, so please, and then I I'll... wanted to spotlight, thank you so much, Rex. I wanted to spotlight the value of what Parisa was saying about reps. This is coming from someone who is an NCAA champion, eight-time All-American champion in swimming with 20 plus records that haven't been broken. And 
you know, some of them over 25 years of records. So talking about reps, you know, she has led, um, coached and led a team to get seven All-American title in one season. So And with yeah. short legs. And yeah, with short legs. legs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very much. No, that may, that may sound funny, and I didn't mean to interrupt you. Well, I did. I interrupted you, but it did, may sound funny. But that's something that for swimmers, the longer the leg, the, the more they can propel themselves through the water. So she did it, not having the physical advantage that some people do. That is an accomplishment. Thank you, Rex. Go ahead. Continue, Ava. I'm sorry. No, I'm complete. It's more of a stretch to make it. Is that what you meant, Rex? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So and, and, and synchronic, syn synchronistically, we've got Justin on a pool background. Right? Uh, not, but not. Yeah. So we're going to close it out. We're gonna, we're going to close it out now. But here's what I'd like to just add and and say: keep an eye on us. It, the the event starts Wednesday, May first. This is Sunday, the twenty eighth. You may watch this ten years from now, but in the next couple of days, those who are watching, here's something I want you to know. If you see this and you like it on Facebook or social media, that's fantastic. We're not doing it for the likes, but we appreciate them. But what truly makes a difference is if you see us on Facebook and you share it so other people can also see us, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, you know, X, whatever it might be, share it, pass the baton, uh, make it possible so other people can make it to the event too. And then we all benefit and they will benefit and you will benefit from having shared with your family, your friends, and even strangers. So pass it, pass it. You know, getting something really great and not sharing it makes you happy, but you can make all sorts of other people happy by the actions that you take. And that action is, if you got something good, give it away. We're giving this event away to you and to all who can find us and discover us and who will come to our buffet a sampling of all sorts of marvelous speakers, authors, transformational agents. They're going to be in one place for the next seven, maybe eight, nine days, who knows. But uh, use the link the, there below to register now so that you don't miss out and so that you become part of this and embrace it. And guess what? We added Justin today. There may be more who will add. So stay in touch and make it happen. All right, everybody, we're going to say goodbye. Uh, wait, we have somebody one last moment show up. I don't know how that happened, but you're welcome to come up and say hello. Let's get you unmuted here. There you go. Hi, everyone. DJ oh, DJ Allen. Hi there. Yes, hi. So we'll see you on, on the program, May 1 to 7. Let's go. Uh, one of the men on the green screen, and then, yeah, we'll see you there. Nice That's seeing you fantastic. all. Awesome, Allen. Good to see you. Your I that's so cool. For, Thank perfect you. closing. You know, one of the big things about leadership is we always honor the people who are behind us. And my husband, you know, Alan, is my 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 rock and my fort, and everything that that happens in LA Tribune happens. Most <laughs> happens because of the man in the background. So thank you. Wanted to honor him and invited him on stage. I, uh, we might be back tomorrow and Tuesday. Who knows? We may do more of these lives before the actual event. And uh, so stay tuned and share. And for those of you who are on the stage, stick around after the stream ends just for at least a moment. Love you. Leaders share. Leaders share.